If you're interested in Yoxa and want somewhere secure to store it, the official core wallet is a great place. In this video, I'll walk you through the steps to set it up, so let's take a look. Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be installing the Neoxa Core Wallet on a Windows 11 PC. I'm installing this wallet because I'm planning on mining the coin and there's no better wallet than to use your official Core Wallet. So you're gonna go ahead and install that. So the first thing we're gonna do is click on the Create Wallet icon over here. And you have a few options down here. We have the Windows Download, the Mac, the Linux, and then we have the ARM Wallet, which is coming soon. There's also an Android Wallet that should be coming out as well. I'm gonna go ahead and download the Windows GUI Wallet and brings me over to the GitHub page. And if I scroll down a bit here, we have all the wallets laid out. We're gonna be using the 64-bit version of Windows. So go ahead and click on that to download. Okay, and once this has been downloaded, you can go ahead and click on the zip file. Okay, we just open up that zip file and here's the executable. You just have to double click on that to launch it. We're getting a security prompt from Windows. So you just have to click on the more info and then run anyway. And now it wants to select a location to store the files. Now you can leave the directory as a default one or you can select a custom one. In this example, I'm gonna be leaving the default one. So I'll be clicking on okay. I'm just gonna minimize my other windows over here. And now it wants to import a recovery phrase. Now this is if you already have a wallet set up. If you don't have one, you can go ahead and click on the generate button and you get a phrase right over here that'll populate. What you wanna do is make sure that you have this recorded in a secure location. Never give out your phrase to anybody. This is your single line of defense to unlock your wallet and get your crypto. So you definitely wanna make sure that you keep this in a secure location. So once we have that generated, we can go ahead and click on the import button. All right, so I'm gonna put in my new password which is gonna be 10 or more random characters or eight or more words. I'm gonna go ahead and click on confirm. This is to encrypt my wallet, it's successfully set. Click on okay. And now it's syncing with the blockchain. This portion might take some time. It doesn't happen automatically. It says I'm 15 weeks behind. So you're gonna let this run in the background. It does take some time for it to sync. So what I'm gonna do is click on the hide button over here and we're inside the wallet, okay? And I got a prompt over here from Windows Defender and it wants to make sure that I'm allowing access to it, which is something that you wanna do. You wanna make sure that this goes through your firewall so we can click on the allow access button. So this is based off the Raven Core wallet. It's a fork of it. So the setup is gonna be very, very similar. And if you take a look at the menu over here on the left-hand side, you have the overview. In the first section over here is the balances. I haven't mined anything yet or I haven't received anything yet or purchased it. So nothing's showing up, but there would be a balance if I had something in my wallet, as well as recent transactions would populate over here. If you wanna send or receive, you just click on the option. If I wanna send some Neoxa to another user, I can click on the send button over here. And then I'd put in their address and then I can label it and then I can put in the amount and then click on send. And the processing time might vary, but it's fairly quick. Now over here on the left-hand side, it's gonna be receive. I'm gonna go through an example right now because I'm planning on mining this crypto. I'm gonna give it a label. I'm just gonna call it mine over here and the amount is gonna be nothing. And then I'm just gonna click on the request payment. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna give me an address. So I can click on request payment and here's the QR code and here is my wallet address. Here's all the payment information that we have. And if you can scroll down, you can actually just copy this whole area or save this image and send it to another user if, if they wanna send you Neoxa. What I'm gonna be doing right now is I'm gonna be saving this address because I'm gonna be putting this in my miner for when I'm mining crypto so it automatically gets paid to this wallet. So we'll go ahead and close this. And over here again on the left-hand side, we have a section for transactions where all their transactions will populate, including your payments from your mining activities will automatically populate in here as well. And then you have the option to create new assets, transfer assets, manage and restrict assets over here. I haven't dived into that too much, but that could be a whole other video on its own, but you have the ability to do that over here on the left. And here we are at the main screen. We're back at the main screen right now, and that is pretty much it for the wallet itself. It's a very straightforward wallet. If you're planning on using it for mining like me, this might be something that you wanna set up. Then my next video that will be coming out shortly is how to mine Neoxa, and I'll be doing that with a several different pools and different miners. I'll be doing some videos and showing you how to do that. So subscribe to the channel if you're interested in mining it. And that's how you set up the Neoxa wallet on a Windows 11 PC. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, you go ahead and put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.